The Young Vibrations, the orchestra, was one of the seven bands that participated in the 2022 National Carnival Panorama Competition. Welcome Chevene Maynard, band leader, and Charlene Martin, band manager. But before we begin, let's have a look at a clip from their performance. That was a lovely rendition by your band. Can you tell us the name of that song? Jumping Up Again, sung by King Conway's Out of Seeing Kids. Yes, I, I noticed that. I think a lot of our viewers might be familiar with that song. They ought to be familiar with that song because everybody knows King Conway's indeed. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about why that song was chosen by you to play, although I can sort of suspect or rather guess why that was the case. Okay, well, we chose the song for two reasons, as I said in the introduction video. And mm -hmm. um, one, this year we decided to step away from the international and regional songs and focus on local. After all, it's carnival, so we wanted to promote local. Uh, along with that, uh, we lost one of our key players, Natalia Newton Roberts, and this was one of her favorite songs, and I just thought that we could do much with it. As a tribute to her, we played that song. Well, condolences to you on that loss, but I'm glad that you were still able to play as well as you did. And you know what? What I noticed in that video is that, first of all, there were a lot of young women in the first two rows. I was looking for the men. I, I saw them later on, but it seems like a lot of women participate in your band. Is there a particular reason for that? Or was that something that you decided to do deliberately? Well... Um, the intention really was to have like a female group, but after some guys reached out and said they wanted to play, they were more than happy to just let them join and just use everybody instead of a female group itself. All right. So my observation was on point. I was, I was really, you know, impressed by that when I saw it. I was like, okay, this looks like an all female group. So it was deliberate on your part. All right. Why did you wanted an all female group and not a mixed group initially? Uh, well, I'm one for women empowerment as well. I like to see young women engage in things like these, especially music, because most times we find is like most men involved yes. in music, really. And like Stephen, if you look at the other bands, they're not comparing, but you see mostly yes. men. And I yes. think our group has the most women playing mm -hmm. with Stephen. Yes. Mm, nice. I know Stephen is a, a man oriented um, thing. So how empowering does it feel for you ladies that the leader is a woman and the band manager is a woman? Well, it's a great feeling actually, a great, great feeling because I'm proud to say that I'm the only female arranger for the competition. And I think yes. I'm the youngest too. So it really, you know, stands out. Gives women, it gives women, sorry, a good look in the federation. Good stuff. All right, so let's talk about uh, the specifics of that song. Uh, you guys had a lot of fun. I'm hearing the melody in my head even now. Uh, let's talk about practicing. Uh, how long did it take you to practice? You know, what were the highlights 
uh, during uh, the practicing sessions, if there were any? Well, I must say, okay, practice, it had its ups and downs. Uh, but most of all, it was fun. It was tiring, the drilling especially. We used to drill like, uh, like 12, 1 and 2 in the morning, but oh. the players were dedicated. And they were willing to get the, the songs and the runs and everything on point. We're all about execution. We like, we'll finish this song very early. And so we had time to like drill the song properly and the players were able to execute it because of the constant drilling. All right, band manager, you've been very quiet <laughs> so far. <laughs> so let's talk to you for a little bit. What have your experiences been uh, preparing for this year's competition? What do you notice about your uh, team that you'd like to put on blast and say, you know what, they're very dedicated or this is something good that you can say about them? Okay, preparation for the competition wasn't bad on the management side of it. Due to the fact that Shaman and I, we would normally discuss first before we go to the band. So we would have came up with the color because as Shaman mentioned our player who were passed, her favorite color was yellow. The color she died in was yellow. And we decided let's go with yellow. What we do though, young vibration, we don't want to look like other people. We want to be the band that stands out. So when we do our orders, we order straight out of Pakistan. So if you take a good look at our uniform, you would realize in the shirt, you can see steel pan reflecting from the shirt. Um, in terms of funding, young vibration is the group that we always do fundraisers, so we are ahead of we are ahead of the game. We normally get a stipend from the carnival committee, but sometimes you know that would not come in the time that you need it. Yeah. So we are decided we do some fundraisers, and from that we will start our orders. Along with that, I can boast and say, young vibration is really young vibration. When you think of vibes, you think of young vibration. Presently, we are in the process of, of fundraisers to Monstrat. Every March, we are invited to Monstrat to participate in the St. Patrick event. So we are doing preparations now for that. That too is going pretty well. And you mentioned about the guys. I see more guys coming on board now. We have three new guys that will give us a total of about nine. Okay. So... We are open to anybody. We, we range from age 15 to okay. 25. But we still would take somebody if they're younger. But what we don't want to do is some persons can balance with education and the outside. However, Young Vibration has organized with the, the school players to assist them wherever we can, whether SBAs and stuff, and not to boast, mo most, if not of all of our players, actually boasting with eight sexy subjects or more. So the band is very versatile. Nice, congrats. Also, while I'm at it, the band would like to congratulate one of our players, Kamal Newton, that's his, the brother of the sister that we lost, and he is the only male that has made it to qualify for the Carifto so far. So Young Vibration have talent anyway you turn it. Nice, nice. Congratulations on that. So how many persons are part of Young Vibrations? Right now we are at 40. Okay. We started with about 25. Mm, growth is good. We are now at 40. For the competition, we had 35. Okay. We had we have five more players join. Some others are supposed to show up today to practice. So after today, we might be clocking at 50. We are oh, even nice. at this stage that we don't have enough pants to practice. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, what was that? You said you don't have enough pants to practice? No, at this stage, well, because of the amount of persons want to join, mm -hmm. the pants are actually full now. So we're just shifting them around to get everybody an opportunity 
Well, that makes sense around Robin style. I, I don't know. With your skill as a band manager, based on what I'm hearing from you, it seems as though you'd be able to raise funds soon enough to get more pants to accommodate. Just putting that out there. <laughs> yes, we are, we, are in, we are in discussions with a few people who have shown interest in the band. And I must say, Nevis Island administration has been one of our strongest supporters. The so. vibration celebrated five years on the 3rd of January, and we dubbed our celebration with our award ceremony and cocktail, and cocktail on the 14th of January. That was a success. And we had the premier, the Arab Mahman, giving us beefy marks. And in that beefy map, he highlighted that we have some pants coming. So that is a plus for us. All right, so we want to get into uh, some more information with you concerning uh, the background in Panorama, Panorama rather. Number of times that you've played in Panorama. You said you've been around for five years. How many times have you played in Panorama? Okay. I think last year was our fourth competition. Okay. All right, did you learn anything uh, from the others? Did the team learn anything from the others that they observed? playing in Panorama, did you grow over that period? Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yes, definitely. Um, after every competition, I go back on the live and I pay attention to each band, especially the winning band, to see what they're winning with. If it's the arrangements or the general performance or the uniform, and I take notes from there. And I must say we were able to grow from the past years. We get better and better and better. We were able to move from third runner up to first run up and next year, oh sorry, this year, I'm sure we'll have the winning position. Ooh. So confident. That's right. That Elevating, I love it. <laughs> what did you say, Charlene? I didn't hear that. I said that's right. We're gonna win this year. Last year was our year, but we we're not giving up. Mm. We're coming back with our fight. Mm. Charlene, something tells me you that know. you'll be soloing. <laughs> again? Something tells me that you'll be giving us a solo on the pan. This year. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I'm a top dog at managing. I I want to make sure I don't want somebody else to focus on the nitty gritty. I want to be that one. I let them play the fan and I will do the behind the scenes. I but that. I must say though, what I realize, I think your vibration, uh -huh. even from coming third one of I think we are the band that everybody tries to be. Mm. I can tell you, I listen to every band introduction for the Panorama. And EBJ, which is the reigning champs, made mention that Young Vibration is the only competition. Mm. But we have a silent message for EBJ from December. Oh, a silent message. <laughs> I'm oh, going to assume yes. you didn't see it already. Okay, it's a mm -hmm. silent message. We'll leave it there for now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we keep it silent. Sometimes you have to work with emotion. Yes, yes, I like that. <laughs> so, Charlene, when was the group established? And how many members was the group established with? Okay, um, so the group was, was established on January 3rd of 2018. And I think it started with a small number, around okay. like say, 16 or 18. And you see we today, we are at, as 40. Oh, nice. So you guys are on your sixth anniversary. On today. We, have more, we have more people coming. Oh. Hey. We celebrate the five years. Oh, 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 five, five. five. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah. since your group is growing, if someone wanted to register for your group, how can they go about doing that? Okay, well, they can either contact myself or Charlene or this captain, Devin Amina, that's my sister. They can just reach out to one of us and just like that, they'll be able to participate or uh, join Young Vibrations. Okay, any Facebook page, any Instagram, any telephone numbers you want to drop here? Yes, we have an Instagram page, so please go okay. and follow us, Young underscore Vibrations. Okay. And you can contact Charlene at 762-8429 or myself at 765-7172. Alrighty. All right, so help us get into your heads a little bit, because obviously we're talking about Pan, the Steel Orchestra. What 
caused you to gravitate to that? And what do you like about it that keeps you affiliated with it even now? Okay. Uh, Stephen, that's my passion. From a child growing up, I always always had a love for the for music in general, but particularly the steel fan. Mm -hmm. I started with the late Cyprian John Jack when I was six years old. He taught me how to play fan, and from that, I just fell in love with it. And one of the childhood dreams was to always start my own steel orchestra, and that dream became a reality. So yes, yeah, Stephen gives me a feeling like no other. The sound of it alone, yes, it's, it calms the mind. So if I want to get away from any stress or anything like that, Stephen is the only thing that can help me, our music. All right, so you mentioned working with people who were about 15 years. You would accept them if they were younger. Have you seen yeah. them evolve into more confident individuals? Very much so. We had some people who didn't know how to play pan at all, not even know how to hold a stick, like Charlene here. <laughs> and actually, they're some of our greatest players. Nice. I would like to sing a lot one. Um, she's Caravella Wallace. She started not knowing anything about pan, but she was interested, and now she's one of our most dedicated members. And she's, trust me, she's amazing. Aww. Very amazing. That's the teacher, so we believe you. Yes. And what of the <laughs> collaboration between uh, the home and the team and you on the management side and the band side of things, parents, how important are they in ensuring that you continue to work well with your team, the younger ones, of course? Well, I must say the parents are dedicated also. Yesterday, one parent met me and said, I want to be a part of y'all. I don't want to be in the group chat because my child is in there, but wherever I can assist, I want nice. to assist. Another parent saw me at the other sport meet on Sunday. Another parent met me there and she said, you're all wasting time. You all have a lot of support from us. You all have to do some more. You all can reach back. So the, the parents are there. Um, and I can see that they are... They, they put their trust in us because yeah. if you look at the generation to, today, you see we have a lot of issues with young girls and sometimes you see one, one or two of them may slip up and the parent would call us to try and speak to them. Um, like Shabani mentioned earlier, we practice up until like 2 a.m. and the parents are so confident that they know the child would get home safe. Even though you know a mother would not go, go to bed until her child is in. Even the boys, the parents, yeah, the parents are very, very supportive. I have no problem with them. Like, even we go to Monsha, we have gone with children under 16. And I can tell you, I never get a parent calling me to say, how is my child doing? You know, parents message their children, yes. which is really expected. So. But because they have so much confidence Good in us, they don't call them at all. 